Right, here we go. I'll leave a link in the description for Brannock Bray. Yes, you can have Brannock Bray. This is not another one of those. No, it's something you can't have. Let's not do them. Um, so we're in the Caterham Super Lights. 177 brake horsepower around the uh, cracking street circuit of Brannock Bray. We've got the AI set to 110 because I am a driving god. And we're uh, just out for a country drive in these uh, club class races. Now these were pretty much abysmal um, in AMS 2 until I think 1.5 they, they finally sorted them out. Now they're uh, they don't get much love but the uh, physics on these and the handling is fantastic. Um, you're getting everything from these lightweight little race cars oh uh, yeah 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 slowly moving over to cover I'll just run you off the road I'll go through the track if you've not seen it if not why not you need to download this it's like a little Scottish green hell so we go on the Harry Potter's bridge. Bit of a bumpy section here. Squeeze through on the inside. Six speed box on it. But the uh, the cars are just so well balanced. It's uh, a joy to drive them. It really is. The AI is quite happy with them too. Let him go. I'm not going to fight you through that tight chicane as we go past the bony bird. Carty's uh, local. A few people ask me about uh, graphic settings. The biggest graphic setting you can do is the time of day. It just brings it to life as you can see just by set I mean I think we're set on about eight o'clock summertime evening uh, so you're getting that golden light and it just changes the whole look of the thing okay let's concentrate so we're coming up to the end of the first of four laps here and I will go through the corners on the next lap, bore you all to death. So we come round past the pits, which do work. Now this is a, a fan favourite in uh, multiplayer as well. Okay, so first corner we're just going to drop to fifth, roll it through, pick up the power when we uh, feel the grip. Okay, this is a non-event, back up to six. Now this one's a uh, third gear in these. Rock faces in VR, absolutely scaring the living daylights out of you. Up to fourth, back down to third for this one. Kind of goes on for a while and tightens at the end. We'll just take a bit of grass. Back up to fourth. We're going to leave it for fourth for this left hander onto the bridge. It drops off just after the corner there, and there's a little bit of a jump coming onto the bridge. Right, these ones, this is a drop off the bridge and then down to second or third, depending on how you're feeling. Seconds a bit short in these, so these are full belt. Just get your lines right, and you can stick in it. If you don't, just lift slightly. I'm going to lift slightly <laughs> back on it up to sixth. This one down here, I'm going to take it fifth and up over the bumpy stuff. These are all not events these corners up here to six now I'm gonna break down to fifth because that is a nightmare it's really tight on the exit down to third here again it's a little lump as you come in just there which will unsettle the car 
Now this you aim right down the middle and you can go, oh it's come up again, and you can go straight down the middle there to give you a good exit speed. Right, this one down to fourth. And then we've got this horrible, horrible left-hander down the hill. Go on, we'll have third. Just drops away from you to fourth, back down to third, onto the bridge. And we're going for the dip here. Up to sixth. And on the brakes, down to fifth. Inside line, it will jump. Just pick your way through there, down to fourth, onto the bridge. Treat it as a double right-hander. And then we'll come up for the final bend, which is here, which is going to be third gear. Camber drops away as you get to the outside of the corner. And that's it, that's a lap. You can actually see there's Harry Potter's bridge, the course all the way around, because you race it all the way around the lake. So you can see the other bridge over there. bit of a lock up there, these cars are very light, dust the name, so uh, I'll give you a quiet lap now and we'll start picking through these cars while I concentrate. I can drive faster when I'm not talking. I'm not lying. <laughs> okay, we'll hang with these guys for a bit. Slowly work our way up. So yeah, there's, uh, the track kind of offers a bit of everything. This um, Again, I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can get hold of it. It's one of uh, uh, PCMT's cars. Uh, cars, tracks, and uh, yeah, looks absolutely stunning. Oops, little jump onto the bridge. But yeah, these cars are—you uh, just get so much feedback off them; it's ridiculous. And with this track being so kind of distinctive, with its bumps and cambers. It really does shine with these. They're not super quick, but they're fast enough. 
um, to give you a, a good AI race. seen a way around any of these to be honest. Uh, the pack has dropped away from us. This is the lead group. Not really enough room to be passing there but maybe on the exit. Cut that one a bit tight then. Yes, come on, it's a straight bit here. Let's get put up on the curb. Oof. This is the final lap. Let's go for it. Let's try and get a podium. So it goes horribly wrong. Okay, that's third. That's second. Late braking. Try not to hit the uh, fence. Keep it tight. the back end not gonna get a first we got a second All right thanks for watching everybody and have a great weekend adios